Hello YouTube, B3, you're back with another kicking action figure review. Yes, today's review is over a very cool figure that I've been wanting for a long time and finally got at Dragon Con 2015. It is the Iron Man 2 comic series Iron Monger from the 3 and 3 quarter inch line. Yeah, you know, this is a really cool figure. I've been wanting it for quite a while. It's actually quite similar to the Build-A-Figure, if any of you have the Build-A-Figure. Iron Monger from the Iron Man 3 6 inch line. Uh, he is very, very cool. Uh, I got him for 15 bucks at Dragon Con in package, complete and everything. Uh, the guy asked for 20 at first, but I was not going to pay 20 for this guy. Um, normally I do a lot of heckling at Dragon Con, but I didn't this year. This was the only, only thing I talked down. I also didn't buy a lot of stuff, so, you know, whatever. But, yeah, you know, very, very cool. I have been wanting for a long time. I would love to have the complete Iron Man 2 line. I would really love to have the complete line. There are a lot of figures in this 3 and 3 quarter inch line. Some of them are kind of pricey now, to be honest. Uh, I'm not really willing to pay more than 15 bucks for any 3 and 3 quarter inch figure. And 15's pushing it. The only reason I really paid 15 for this guy was because he's big. He's one of the bigger 3 and 3 quarter inch figures. And I really, really wanted him. So, yeah, let's back up a bit so we can take another look at Iron Monger. He does come with a few accessories. He comes with these armor cards. I believe there was like a website where you could play a game with the armor cards, but it has probably long since been taken down, I'm sure. Uh, as you can see, you know, you can kind of mix and match them. And you can mix and match them with the other armor cards from other figures as well, which is pretty cool. And he also comes with this stand, which Ironmonger specifically doesn't really need, but all the figures in this line come with a stand, and you can kind of just put the armor cards right in the stand. I don't take mine out of the sleeves anymore, but, you know, they go right in the stand, and you peg them in, and then you just, uh, you can display them like that. I have a friend who has all his displayed with the armor cards, so it's kind of like an armory, and it looks really cool. My armory is pretty standard. They don't have the stands and stuff. They just kind of stand on their own. The stands take up a lot of room. To be honest. But yeah, I do really like this Iron Monger. Uh, first up, let's do some articulation. Head goes side to side, and he has this neck piece that kind of moves with him sometimes, but it, you can just kind of put your finger on it and it'll stay in place. Uh, the shoulder pads articulate a little to help hinder the arms less. Uh, be careful with this antenna, it can snap easy. But uh, you see the arms go up and down, forward and back, and you got a bicep swivel. Or not. I thought you had a bicep swivel. Oh, no, 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 no. Sorry. Uh, it's been a while since I messed around with this guy, honestly. Because I put him back in the package so he wouldn't get broken during transportation. And, you know, you got a bend right there on the elbow. And what the joint I was thinking of is right there on the elbow. Because it moves right there on the elbow. Which is kind of hard to do because of the gauntlet. But as you can see, it moves right there on the elbow. That's the joint I was thinking of. And this kind of sits on it loose, so you can move it around a bit. I believe the intention of that is to not hinder so much because of these cables. And then he also has, you know, this apocalypse fist right here, which can move around a lot as well. And then he's got this torso joint. As you can see, they can kind of move all around. And then you can turn the joints in the leg so that he can either kick forward and back or go in and out. And then there's a thigh swivel also, you know, they can move above and below this joint. And then a double knee bend, which is really, really cool. And, you know, some up and down on the foot there, as you can see, side to side. So, yeah, you know, for a three and three quarter inch figure, pretty good articulation. His character design is kind of hindering because of these uh, tubes here and the shoulder pads and all. But all in all, he's a cool figure. And now on to detail and paint. He's mostly blue. There's kind of some sparkles in it. You can't really see him that well on camera. There you go. You can see the sparkles now. Uh, they're not on the whole figure, but they're on most of it. And he looks really cool. Uh, he's got some like black shading and stuff all over him as well, as you can see. You know, lots of nice shading on this guy. Uh, they really went all out on this line. But ever since this line, you know, three and three quarter inch figures just really haven't been the same. This and Marvel Universe were great, but now three and three quarter inch figures just suck. They just suck. I'm really sad about that. He's got the nice red there. And then, you know, lots of cool sculpting and paint on the back. He looks really nice, honestly. Even some paint on the bottom of the feet there. 
And he's looking good. He's a good looking figure. I can't wait to uh, put him next to my other Iron Man. So how about we do that right now with some size comparisons. Now here's with some other figures from the 3 and 3 quarter inch Iron Man 2 line. Here on the left we have the Mark II Iron Man. And here on the right we have the Hyper Velocity Armor Iron Man. So, yeah, you know, obviously he's much bigger than them. But I think he scales up quite well, honestly. He looks pretty good. So, yeah, you know, I think he's going to scale well with your other Iron Man 2 figures. Now here's just some Marvel Universe 3 and 3 quarter inch figures. And here on the left we have... The Future Foundation Spider-Man, just to show him with something that's not Iron Man. And here on the right, a very cool figure, the Modular Armor Iron Man. And these are my two favorite Marvel Universe figures, and I think they look great with Iron Monger as well. So he's going to scale well with your 3 and 3 quarter inch Marvel figures. And then just for fun, here he's with some other 3 and 3 quarter inch figures I like. Here on the left, we have the Ultra Metallic Force Red Ranger from Power Rangers Mega Force. And then here on the right, we have the... Alcatraz Nano Suit from Crisis 2. Yeah. So, honestly, you know, I think they scale with Iron Monger as well. Iron Monger's just going to go really well with 3 and 3 quarter inch figures. So, all in all, what are my final thoughts on the Iron Man 2 3 and 3 quarter inch Iron Monger from the comic series? He is quite cool. I really like this figure. I like the look of comic Iron Monger. Uh, He's very cool. I still need to get the movie one. That'd be really nice to have. Also, Hulkbuster. That'd be cool. Ooh, and Comic Ultimate. Yeah, I have a lot of these I still need to get. But, you know, he's just very cool. One of the bigger ones. Uh, more worth kind of the money you're going to have to pay for him if you want him. I suggest eBay. I think there might be some on Amazon, too, actually. But I don't know how much those cost. Uh, probably... 20, 30 maybe. Who knows? I got mine for 15. Uh, I am happy with that price. I probably wouldn't have been happy with that price for other 3 and 3 quarter inch figures because that's kind of what I would like to pay for, you know, 6 inches. I'm used to paying 15 for 6 inches and now I gotta pay 15 for 3 and 3 quarter inch and 20 for 6 inches. So, price is going up. But, yeah, it's a really cool figure. All in all, you know, I got to give him four out of five stars, you know. The articulation's a little hindered. He can't, he's not like the best articulated figure in this line. But he's better articulated than most Marvel 3 and 3 quarter inch figures. Uh, especially outside the Iron Man 2 and Marvel Universe lines. And he's just really, really nice. He's a really cool figure. And I really like him. So, yeah, that's it, you guys. Thank you all so much for your support. Please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Check out all the cool links in the description below, Facebook, Twitter, all that junk. So, once again, thank you all for your support. Uh, check out all those cool links, as I said. And I will see you all later.